Hello and welcome back everyone to my Fire Emblem Three Houses Let's Play. Uh, last time we finished up the prologue. Well, I don't know if we finished up the prologue, but we finished up the mission and now we and talk to everybody. <laughs> I see you, Hubert. <laughs> I see you. Uh, and now you want to talk to the house leaders. Do 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 do. Thank you. Ah, there, there you are. Thank you for your assistance in the previous battle. I'd like to discuss your, fut your future if you have a moment. Damn, that got deep pretty quickly. If you find yourself with no place to go after we accomplish our objective, I'm hoping we might hire you on with the Empire. What do you think? I can promise you'll be handsomely paid, including the work you did today. So, what say you? Um... Why? Nah. I'm usually not hired into service by people quite so high up the food chain. Why the special attention? <laughs> I value your talent now that I've had the ability to see it firsthand. On another matter. Uh, by the way, have you spoken with the others here in the camp? If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit about the students in my house, uh, my own house, the Black Eagles. Uh, yes. Uh, let's just go from the top. Well, you're certainly not timid. You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial Throne, yes? Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That do be nice. Oh, did... Uh, Minor Crest of Saros, yeah. Like combat arts, okay. And solar Prominence Ambition, can I... Okay, cannot go down the stats. I mean, that's fine. I guess. Wait. Well, you're certainly oh. not still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hubert. Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble but lack territory of their own. Hubert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. I mean, he's a little bit sus of me, but it's all right. Uh, oh yeah, right. He doesn't have a crest. Gain a low chance to appear and attack the enemy. Uh huh. De -de -de. That's Dorothea Arnold. She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous imperial opera company, or she was at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officer's Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. Yep, yep. She do indeed. Uh, whoops. No, I didn't. I wanted to go... Yeah. I didn't mean to turn on auto advance. I just wanted to look at the things. Okay, low chance to spawn musical notes around the unit when performing regular attacks. So taking... Whoops. The notes triggers elemental shockwaves. That is a little HP and awakening gauge. Yeah. Have you spoken Birdie. with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. I, I mean, yeah, but you know. <laughs> uh. Often get increased proportional to hit count. Do 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 do. Nice, my boy. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. Yeah. Also, I'm. I don't want to keep auto advance on for the text because I feel like the uh, the pauses between the dialogue are quite awkwardly long. So I just Kaspar rather. Is the second born son of a great and noble house, but as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the academy to make his own way. So I'm just gonna advance the text on my own. War and fighting are his sole pursuits. So I bet the two of you will get along just fine. Do do. Uh, I wanted to see the details. Increasing the range. I mean, I'm not gonna look at everybody. Petra isn't from the Empire. 
She's the granddaughter of the King of Bridget, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. Okay. <laughs> Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. I feel that. I mean, I might not be as bright, but I'm definitely as lazy as he is. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. Okay, let's talk to the others. Claude. Thanks. Oh, hey, friend. Appreciate what you did back there. We'd have been in a world of hurt without you. Hmm. Oh, and regarding compensation, Alois told me not to pay you personally. I guess they want to handle it as a church thing? Sorry about that. I understand. Hmm. Hey, as long as I get paid, I don't care who's handing over the coin. <laughs> uh, you're definitely a mercenary, all right. Speaking of... Speaking of which, have you talked with the others here at the camp? How's that? I can tell you a little bit about the students in my Golden Deer house. Sure. Who, me? I'm more curious about you, personally. If you don't have anything better to do, I'd be glad to have you join us at Garrick Mach. He's a fighter. Interesting. Do, 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 do. Imbue attacks with wind. Okay, slightly increase the awakening gauge. The damage dealt. Fred class <laughs> Wyvern Master. I mean, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. Yeah. <laughs> Hilda's the only daughter of Duke Goneril. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up. Which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. Pretty much. She's also a fighter. Brigand. Makes sense. He's a pretty friendly guy. Though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. <laughs> Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier and she nearly took my head off. <laughs> Rip. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. Maybe his parents are making him do it. That they do. Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. Mm. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you two would have lots to talk about. I feel like this conversation would be very awkward considering her mentor is Gerald and like I'm trying to defeat his mercenary so uh maybe maybe not maybe not you're both pretty frank too i just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is like i said the conversation could be a bit awkward also i like how Edelgard so far is the only one who wants to recruit me immediately i mean considering her plans later in the story it kind of makes sense but yeah hello dimitri you have my thanks uh, let me begin with conveying my gratitude to you, Phoenix. We are in your debt. Speaking of which, also examined a map earlier, and the village where you are were headed seems to be a little more to the east. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. I checked the map earlier, but couldn't tell where in the woods I actually was. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could be of service. I hope you are able to reach your destination this time. By the way. You'll be staying until sunrise, yes? I hope you'll take the opportunity to converse with the others here. Of course, now that I've sprung the idea onto, uh, on you so suddenly, you'll likely find yourself at a loss as to whom you ought to speak to. I mean, 
I technically spoke already to everyone, but uh, oh well. How about this? On that note, I would be more than happy to give you an introduction to, introduction to any of the Blue Lion House students. Yeah, let's go. Your interest flatters me, but I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when next we speak. But uh, you're leaving for that village soon, aren't you? Wow. Great introduction, Dimitri. Great introduction. I mean, I get it. The, I, I, I mean, I get it. There's, there's a lot, but you know, it's still <laughs> great introduction, my friend. Dudu hails from the land of Dusker. Perhaps you've heard of it. He tends to keep to himself, but he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my vassal. Speak to him, and you'll see why. Why, why the pause? My vessel. Why, why did you pause there? What? What are you implying here? Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit and even sharper tongue. But he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. Yeah, he already challenged me to a duel. Wait, is this Chris also OP in this game? Is the damage type of strong attacks? Eh. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I remember correctly, but I think his crest was pretty OP in in the, in the base game. I only first met her here at the academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand. She has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. Yeah. <laughs> In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. Yeah. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. <laughs> Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only a little. <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah. Wasn't her crest pretty good, too? I don't... I don't remember. It's been a while since I played the game. Like, the, the original Three Houses game. I don't know why, I just really like the icon of this unique ability. Attacking very slightly fills the unique ability gauge when it's full press the R to temporarily strengthen yourself and surrounding allies. Ooh. Uh, defeating 30 or more enemies with a single warrior special grants a small increase in damage dealt to enemies for a period of time. Nice. When ordered to defend, increase damage dealt to enemies by 30%. Okay. Uh, Sylvain. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That may be putting it lightly, in fact. <laughs> yeah. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. I mean, this is pretty sad because I remember him being actually not that great of a unit. <laughs> In the game, I mean, at least for one playthrough. I I don't know. I just distinctly remember him like not being as good of a unit <laughs> in my team. But but I get it. He's like smart and stuff, but doesn't use it because he's always flirting with girls. Even though he wants to date Felix, it's fine. It's fine. I get it. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea. And she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his indiscretions. And that's that. Looks like Dawn's almost here. Tell Eloise you're heading out. Okay. Eh. I want to stay with the guys, though. 
Ah, Phoenix. Have you spoken with the house leaders yet? That's concerning. What? You're leaving? But but that won't do. If I'm honest. Actually, I was hoping I could ask something of you. Would you hear me out? Sure. Sure, my friend. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And you're gonna do that again? And then they cross swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. Um... This sounds more like hush money than a reward. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. I mean, you know... That actually makes sense now why nobody is talking about this, about Chez in the prologue of the Fire Emblem Three Houses. I mean, obviously it's just to not cause continuity errors, but that's eh, smart enough. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be, but this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. Um, yeah, I agree of my of my own of the volition. Uh, I guess I'm not opposed to helping out a little more. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. <sighs> Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. The poor man. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. That is true. Hmm? Told me what? Uh, told you how dashing you are in that armor. Not just any man could pull off that look. <laughs> nice. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mark. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? Oh my god, we were saved by the house leaders. <laughs> we were saved. I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this, considering you're only here because of us. But... Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Nah, it's fine. Actually, I see this is just another chance to better myself. You are more gracious than I. But, as I see you've made peace with it, I will leave the matter be. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. No. <laughs> Keep your hopes grown. No, I'm just... Thank you. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? <laughs> oh yeah, right. Basically the same as in Three Houses, but um... Yeah, I can already see... when, Like, whenever I 
choose a dialogue option. I, I don't see the support thingy going up. I can already, like, feel having chosen the wrong thing. I don't know, man. It's, uh... It's gonna happen a lot. Very a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm very bad at this. Well, it seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me, every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. Yeah, until he goes insane, but aside from that... Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you'd better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Yep. And saving the game. Prologue. Three houses. Okay, so we're still in the prologue, I guess. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths, each a student at Gerig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gerig Mach. Church of Seros. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of? Hello, it's me. Greetings. My name is Rhea. And I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. <laughs> I love, I love Seneth on the right. He's like, he's totally dissociating. He's like, he's not really here. <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> oh God, and Hanuman looking straight at me. That's kind of, kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. I'm... Right. Eh, it was nothing. You take Proud. a job, you make sure it gets done. That's what a mercenary does. I see you do not lack for confidence. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. Yeah, probably that. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I mean... <laughs> I'm pretty sure even if I'm expressing interest in the offer, I'm not gonna accept because that would that would break canon, right? I mean, I never saw a purple-haired guy slash girl running around the campus. So now. Uh, sorry, but the world's got other plans for me. I can't afford to stay here forever. Oh, this would not be forever. You would only be enrolled for one year. Bear in mind that the Knights of Seros and many other powerful warriors pass through these gates. Whether you seek to someday become an officer, or simply increase your own strength, this environment will undoubtedly aid in your pursuits. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. No. I'm not- I'm gonna break cannon. No. Alright, I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. 
We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. <laughs> I just noticed Juritsa. <laughs> He's also just standing there. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Lester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. Oh ho ho, okay, so this, this is where I choose my route, huh? And I mean, like I said, if you know anything about me, and if it wasn't re very clear about how I... How many characters I liked in the camp, I'm gonna go with Black Eagles so first. you wish to join Edelgard's Black Eagles? Are you certain? Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Uh. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Oh god, his voice. I, I don't I don't I don't remember his voice because I never actually played the DLC with him. Like I never saw his supports. <laughs> so that was that was shocking. I I'm not randomly admiring him, I'm just being like hi. Nice meeting you, uh sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, alright? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? Or is that Curiosity, I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa. Oh, are we, are we sure about that? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house. I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. Nice. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, keeping my distance. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. <laughs> I like how he's like all offended and stuff, but in his sprite, he's just smiling. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Okay. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Oh. Uh, the students of the Black Eagle House are now playable. <laughs> yes! You look at Hubert, Dorothea, Ferdy, Bernie, Bernie, Casper, Petra, and Lindhardt. Nice. Nice. I'm so gonna play as Hubert and Ferdy and Edelgard. Well, and Casper. What do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the knife's edge so far. But what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her. The bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. 
Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Oh, okay, that, that was a tonal shift from, from Edelgard and Hubert, like, conniving together to... Hello there. Oh, man. I'm, I'm still kind of trying to make sense of the story, but we'll see how it goes. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion, Burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? No, I'm extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard, and we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes, I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say, I'm certifiably crestless. <laughs> nice. Strange. You definitely seem the type, but I suppose I'm just imagining it. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. Yep, I did. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down, and now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Okay. Of course, Profe Oh, he's gone. So it would seem... Right then. We'd better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I... I need to tell the professor I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, professor. <laughs> He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, then makes tracks. Raise an eyebrow. I mean, that is true. Well, the less you say, the greater your mystique. Okay. Dorothea like that. I mean, I, I, I take that. <laughs> true enough. There's not much charm in someone who talks your ear off at every opportunity. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission. Including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. <laughs> I like I love Ferdy just staring in the background. <laughs> I miss these characters, it's so bad. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. Uh I'm confident. I won't let you down. Okay. Two weeks later. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Let's go! Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. 
But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? <laughs> We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. Professor, wait! Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Okay. Pathetic. That's following. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too dangerous. Wait, what is all this? <laughs> Bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Kaspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? Nope. It just seems suspicious. You are something else, Kaspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the Kingdom and the Empire, but that is no Imperial outpost. It's not the Kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. Whoa. Okay. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. I mean, I would still do it. Let's go. Yes, I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home right now. But the bandits might be inside, and they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles. It's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the Caspar way. Let's We're go. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out the entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Since when are you so gung-ho? Oh, right. Since always. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Yuritsa? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. Nice. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor, are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. Okie dokie. Victory condition, defeat the thieves. Uh, none. A battle ends in victory when you fulfill the victory conditions and ends in defeat when you fulfill the defeat conditions. The route, uh, the route of important units such as the main character and house leaders will also result in defeat. These conditions can change during the battle of, uh, during the course of battle. You can check the vi victory and defeat conditions from the battle prep screen and by selecting battle details from the pause menu. Okay. Defeat conditions none. Okay, so I can just not lose. And this is where my units are, I see. But we're not going to do that today. The part is already too long. <laughs> we'll leave that for the next episode. And um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how, how this mission will go. Anyway, see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.